Hi. In this video I want to show you how to create loops in Scratch. Now loops are something that are in just about every computer programming language. So if you understand how to do loops in Scratch, you'll also recognize them in other languages like JavaScript or PHP or C or any, any number of languages. So let's take a look at how to do them. Okay, now to begin, we're going to go to the events and we're going to start our program with when the green flag is clicked. And then go to control. This is where all the looping structures are, say, are stored. Here's one, it's repeat. Here's another looping structure forever. And then scrolling down a little bit, we have another one, repeat until. So let's try all three of these. We'll start with forever. Let's suppose we want to have the cat walk off the screen. So we want it to walk 10 steps, then walk another 10 steps, then another 10 steps, and so forth. So what we can do is we can go to motion, drag over move 10 steps, and so it's going to move 10 steps, go back up to the top here, move 10 steps, go back up to the top, and so forth, around and around and around, until the cat's off the screen. Let's try it out. There it goes. Now, um, in reality, when a, a program runs like this, it runs forever, and so the cat's tail should really not be there. It's supposed to just keep going on and on to infinity. But uh, they put the cat's tail there so kids can retrieve it and put it back in the middle of their screen. But the program actually right now is still running. What I'm going to do is I'm going to stop the program and I'm just going to drag the cat back so we have access to it again. Okay, now let's suppose we want to do something a little different. Maybe we want the, uh, the cat to um, move 10 steps and move 10 steps. And every time it moves 10 steps, it's going to check to see if it's hit the edge. If it hits the edge, it'll turn around and go in the opposite direction. But as long as it hasn't hit the edge, it'll just keep going forward and then when it hits the edge, it'll go the other direction, and so forth. So it'll go back and forth like a ping pong ball. Okay, now to do that, to scroll down and move this in here. If on edge, bounce. It'll move, then check, then go around, move, check, and so forth. Let's run it. And there we go. And so this will keep going for as long as we want it to, back and forth forever. Okay, so that's one kind of looping structure, the forever loop. It never ends. So to stop the program, what we have to do is click on the little stop sign up here. Let's try a, a different type of loop. That's one of the three. Go back to control. Let's try a repeat loop. Let's have the cat draw a circle. Now to draw a circle, we've actually got to import a few commands here. So I'll show you how to do that. Uh, go down to this little blue area at the very bottom, extensions. I'm going to add a special extension here. And then click on pen so we can draw. Okay, so now we've got a whole bunch of pen commands. So what this will do is it'll, when the cat moves, it'll draw a line behind it. So let's see. Uh, we'll move this over here just so we can see it. Let's begin by um, having the cat, let's see, move 10 steps and then perhaps turning a little bit, 15 degrees. In fact, let's have it move 10 degrees and we will repeat this 36 times. If you remember back to our, our uh, mathematics from elementary school, there's 360 degrees in a circle. So if you want the cat to move in a circle, what's going to happen is this. It's going to come down when we click on our green button. It's going to move 10 steps forward. Then it's going to turn a little bit, 10 degrees. Then it's going to move 10 
uh, steps forward and turn a little bit, and it's going to keep turning, moving and turning, moving and turning, moving and turning, until it goes in a complete circle. Let's try that. And there we go. If we change this to 72, it'll go around the circle twice. And if we change this to 18, 18 times 10 degrees, that's 180, it'll just go halfway around and then stop. Click on it again, goes the rest of the way. Okay, now let's start using some of these drawing, uh, these cool drawing uh, tools that we brought in, the pen. So we can have the cat, uh, as it moves, we can have the cat um, drawing behind it. To do that, you just say pen down. We'll do that right at the very beginning. And maybe we'll set the pen color to green. And then at the end, we'll set the pen up. And that stops it from drawing. So I'm going to press the green flag, put the pen down, set the color to green. Then it's going to go and it's going to do this loop 36 times. It's going to move. While it moves, it's going to be drawing behind it. Then it's going to turn, move, turn, and so forth. And then it's going to pick the pen up. Let's try it out. And there we go. Got a green circle. If we want, we can uh, do something kind of fancy. We can say, let's change the pen color a little bit as we draw. And we'll put this in the loop. So what happens is it sets the pen color to green at the very beginning. Then it repeats. It adds 10 to the color value. Move 10 step turn. Adds another 10 to the color value. And what this does is it changes the color from green through, uh, through the different colors of the spectrum. So as the cat moves, it's not going to have just a green circle. It's going to have a multicolor circle behind it. There we go. You can see some of the colors just coming in there um, in the, uh, behind the cat. Let's actually make it a little bit more obvious by increasing the pen size. So we're going to put the pen down, change the color to green. Let's make the pen nice and thick, maybe 10. Okay, and we'll give that a try. And there we go. We can see all the different colors that it's turning to. Okay, so again, this is a repeat loop um, with 36 different colors. Okay, let's try one last type of, uh, of loop. This is a repeat loop. This is a forever loop. If we go back to control. There's one other type of loop, a loop, a repeat until loop. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, um, let's see, let's have it, uh, the cat, I'm going to borrow these two, move in a circle. So when I click on the green flag, it's going to repeat and it's going to go around in a circle. But I want it to go around in a circle until I do something. Uh, specifically, I want it to go around in the circle until maybe I press the space bar on my keyboard. So let's see at how, at how uh, you can use Scratch to pick up a key press. So to do that, you need to go into this uh, Let's see, the sensing area. And uh, pull over to here. Repeat until the space key is pressed. Now, it could be something else. It could be the up arrow, the down arrow, the right arrow, the left arrow, or any key at all. We'll just keep it at the space bar for now. So when we click on the green flag, the cat should start going in circles, and it will continue until I press the space bar. I'm going to move the cat over here. It's not going to draw behind it this time because I haven't turned on the pen. Um, all this code over here isn't being used. I'll just get rid of some of it here. It's just going to move in circles. Let's try it out. 
So there's the cat going around in circles. It's repeating these. Every time it gets to the top here, it looks to see if the space bar has been pressed. If it hasn't, it keeps drawing it. And now I'll press the space bar now. And there it goes, and it stops. So when I press the space bar, it falls out of this loop, and the program ends. Okay, so those are three uh, looping structures. Again, uh, the repeat for a number of times, the forever loop, and the repeat until loop. So try some of these out in your own programs and, um, and see if you can play around. And try uh, importing for the extension some of the pen tools. So you can um, put the pen up, put the pen down, set the pen to different colors, and have the cat draw out lines behind it.